Hello, this is Denton Yoder, instructor for BSE 2304, the Biological Systems Engineering CAD class. Uh, today we're going to talk about point groups uh, and also point import formats. And we'll make a surface from points. And we'll do a little bit of editing on that surface, throw it in a D-sized drawing and be done. Uh, to start off, uh, I need to identify what I have in my points. So uh, for this lab, we're going to have a text file. And if I open up that text file, I'm going to see that it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fields. I'm only going to use a few of these. The point number field is too long. I don't want that. The second field is a shorter version of point ID. Uh, I like that one. So I'm going to use field number two. The easting is field number three, the northing is field number four, the elevation is field number five, and the code is like benchmark or ground or something like that. The date and the class I really don't care about. The other thing I need to identify besides the fields I want to use is I have to identify the delimiter. Now this one has an extremely stupid delimiter. It has a semicolon. Actually, I did that on purpose so you would understand the flexibility of the Point Import Format Manager. The one thing we do have to do to make this work, though, is we need to delete the first line of the file. Gone. Instead of killing the file itself, I'm going to do a Save As, and I'm going to call it uh, Lab 12A out. Uh, so I made a 12A out, which is the same file with the first line missing. Okay, so now I'm going to import that file. In CAD, the first thing I'm going to want to do is to create a new drawing using my template. And the reason I want to use my template is because I have my description keys in my template. I also have my D size border, so it'll make it really easy for me to make a drawing when I'm done. Okay, jumping into it. The insert tab has a points from file. Uh, when I select that, it wants to know what is the point file format. And if I scroll through here, there's a bunch of combinations of point number northern easting, delimiter, or excuse me, point number northing easting description and a comma delimiter or space delimiter. But the format I need is not here. What I need to do is go to the format manager and add a new format. And we are not going to mess with databases in this class. We are going to do a file, a user point file. And it says, what is this new format? Well, I'm going to name it um, how about lab 12? And it is going to be delimited. And what was that delimiter? Semicolons. Okay, the first field we were going to skip. The second field had a usable point number. The third field had a easting. The fourth field had the northing. The fifth field had the elevation. I'm leaving the precision, the default on all these to four places. If you were choosing latitudes, longitudes, or something like that, one thing is you'd have to be in a coordinate system in your settings. The other thing is you'd want a higher precision. Uh, after elevation, the last field I want is the raw description. The raw description will then match my description keys and do something interesting. It will create a full description. Now, none of my full descriptions actually changed the raw description, but like let's say if you had a numeric code like 12 for your raw description, you could have that turn it into a real description automatically. Uh, we just we didn't do that, but whatever. Moving along. So now that I've defined the fields of this file, 
I can grab lab 12, and I actually have to go grab it again. Where is it? Where is it? Lab 12, and I want to add my file, which on my desktop was in the uh, new class folder under uh, lab 12. And I named it something out, I believe. Lab 12A out. Okay, so what it's done is it says you've selected the Lab 12 file format. If I filter using that, my numbers are going to show my Eastings, Northern Elevations, and descriptions. And it's just showing me what it's going to look like. And OK will actually do it. Zoom extents, and I have data. Notice my benchmarks, already populated with benchmarks. And my points, some of them, uh, these are the ground shots. I think those need to be smaller, but um, let me drop my scale down to, let's say, oh, oh, my template's bad. I was supposed to have a five in there. Um, let me custom add one inch equals five feet, which is one, two, five. Move that down. Okay. Now I can select one to five. Okay. So I had ground shots evidently in my file that automatically put a plus indicator and I had some thaw wag shots and my thaw wag automatically put the points on V node center line. So I got some point separation. The ground shots went to V node ground. What I can do now is I can turn off the V node ground, V node ground, and have a clearer image with the ground shots being in my calculation, but I don't have to have them visible. Okay, and of course I can change these points, display style. To get my descriptions and everything escape out and I'm happy once again although I just reset my thaw wags but whatever I should have froze those too um, now creating a surface I have the cross sections in here even though they're not showing on the screen they're frozen they are in this file if I go to my prospector and I create a surface I'll call it EG for existing ground, and I'll tell it that I want one in five uh, background contours. Okay, okay. If I expand my EG surface definition, we have something new down here. Well, it's not really new on the screen, but we haven't used it before. Point groups. I can add a point group, all points, to my surface and I get a calculation, bam. Um, I also get some excessive stuff, like it contoured down to my benchmarks, which I really don't want, uh, and a little bit of excessive around the edge. I may want to turn my ground shots back on so you can see them, so you can see that they are in the calculation. But let's move on. Editing a surface. I've generated a surface from my points. What I want to do is in edits, I want to do a delete line and this says I have to have my triangles on. Okay, my EG surface, if I edit my surface display style, edit surface style, I can on the display tab turn on my triangles now I should be able to, not drawing objects, edits, delete line, and I want to do a crossing box, which means go from right to left, 
and I can quickly enter get rid of some topo. Now, my rule of thumb is that if data is interpolated from point to point, it's good. But if data skips over a point, it's bad. So for example, the beginning of the stream to the end of the stream, it's interpolating along that. That's totally bogus. I can do a delete point across a bunch of those and I can get in closer and reevaluate. Okay, the end here is going top of bank to top of bank and missing this whole cross section. So this in the bottom of this is really bogus. I'm gonna delete that those interpolations. Down the side here, yeah, that's bogus. Here is jumping from cross section to cross section, missing the ones in the middle, but it's not real egregious to me. I don't know. Um, this one's bad. I'm going to just highlight a couple of those and get it to tighten up. Uh, the other side over here, I don't like the looks of that. Tightened it up. This is a judgment call. I've got a cross section here. It's interpolating from the top of bank here to the top of bank here and down to the edge of water here. I don't like that. It makes my contours look stupid. Um, I don't know how bad I want to trim it back. I could trim it a little or trim it more. I don't know. Okay, um, I, don't, I think I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm going to get rid of a few of these. Okay, I'm happy with my site. I need to set this up with a north arrow. I need to figure out what scale it's going to be before I can do that. I'm going to go to my D size. I'm going to double click inside, zoom extents. I'm going to draw a diagonal line right here and set my UCS object on that and tell it that is going to be plan. And now when I zoom in, zoom, I can, I'm going to ignore my, uh, benchmarks. A regen will clean the points up a bit. Um, how about 1 to 30 scale? Ah, how about 1 to 10? Whoops, I moved my toolbar. 1 to 10. Sweet. 1 to 10 is going to work fine. So, double click outside of it. Uh, I ought to go ahead and lock my M view. Um, go to the model tab, insert, browse. Where do I have a good north arrow? North arrow, north triangle arrow. Actually, I like that north arrow insert it and I'm going to use a scale of 10 because it's going to use 10 scale and I'm going to put it right in here and need to turn my triangles off. Uh, I can highlight my triangles right click and get a context sensitive menu or I can right click on EG and edit my surface style to turn my triangles back off um, save my drawing. I'm going to put this in my documents 2018. Lab 12A. Let's look at my D size. I need to fill out my title block. I need to edit my uh, dynamic dialogue attribute 
editor. 10, 10, 20, 30, 10 foot tick. Okay, I got my graphic skill, got my north arrow. Double click inside, check my D view is locked. Type in plot, preview. Uh, the M view is on a no print layer. Only thing I need to really do is fill out my title block information, and this project is ready to go. All right. Um, I'll also do a video, well, actually I won't do a video for the B part, uh, but I'll email you directions. Have a good one. Bye.